All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this HP, let's see, where's the model? Model 13-AC003NA. All right, so first what you want, you're going to need three different screwdrivers. You'll need a PH or JIS-1, a PH or JIS-0, and then you'll also need a Torx or T5 screwdriver. Okay, so first what you'll want to do is remove the little feet here. These were already missing, but you just pop them up. Okay, just get like a pry tool or your fingernail underneath and pull them out. Then with the PH or JIS-1, we're going to remove these two screws. Keep the screws in order. You don't want to get them mixed up because they are different size, shapes, and lengths. And you can't put the other screws in the other spots or you can damage something. All right, let's remove those two. Then we're going to switch to the T5 screwdriver. And we're going to remove the two here. Okay. And this one, the customer actually changed their battery. And then um, they left one of the screws loose. It rolled around inside and then it actually damaged the battery. So you want to be very careful. Uh, or it damaged the SSD. So we actually replaced the SSD on this one. Okay. So now we're going to remove these screws. Okay, and then we'll remove the other two screws on this corner. Okay, with this to remove it, we're going to need like a thin pry tool as well. Um, you can try doing this with a suction cup, but I, I think this, the pry tool works better. Let me try with the suction cup just to see. Um, it is working, but yeah, you normally would do this uh, with a pry tool. You'd start from the side, or you can even just use your fingernails and then just get in the side here. Okay, and then you kind of go along the front and just pop that cover. I don't know if the cover comes off easier because they already tried prying it out, but um, there we go. Usually this piece, you kind of have to also pull the cover slightly down and pull this piece back slightly to get it out, but there's the cover. All right, so on this one, they replace the battery. I'm just gonna go quickly over what's inside and what we can change. It looks like the RAM is soldered to the board, so you can't change that. The battery connector is right here. There's these two screws and then the two screws down here. This one, they stripped it out so it doesn't hold anymore, and that's the screw that kind of fell out. Uh, but anyways, here you can see, let me see, maybe I should lift the battery up just to look underneath. So I'm going to use the PH1 um, or JS1 screwdriver remove the screws for the battery okay and I want to be careful so this here the speaker connector is right here and it plugs into this so these kinds of connectors you actually just pop them up so I'm gonna remove these screws I don't want to mess with some stuff and then end up breaking more things so I'm just gonna do a quick kind of look underneath and see what there is so the speaker is held in place with uh, another screw here, but I'm going to just look under. Okay, so yes, this is the CMOS battery, and the connector, it actually comes out. You just pull it straight up from the tail, and it should pop out. Again, I don't want to mess with these because it is a little bit risky. You do want to hold the board down when you do this, and you can pop this out, but the CMOS battery holds like keeps the BIOS settings and everything. You got the speaker connector, same thing. It pops up from the tail. And the other speaker here, it's a larger connector, but it only uses the two pins. Same thing. Just pop it up. The fan connector here, you kind of have to grab it and wiggle and pull it back. Then you got the, it looks like keyboard backlight. Let's see here. Okay. So the keyboard backlight connector here, this connector is for the power button. You got the keyboard connector here, the trackpad connector. The battery connector, this one you just grab the wings and you kind of wiggle and pull it back. I'm going to leave that connected. You got the M.2 uh, PCIe NVMe SSD. So we actually replaced this on this one. Um, and you do have to use a PH0 or JIS0 screwdriver to remove this. Okay, so there's one screw here. It looks like the battery model number, assuming this because this is a replacement one, is SH03XL. But the M.2 SSD, once you remove that screw, you can lift the SSD up slightly, just like this. Okay, and then you just kind of wiggle and pull it back. All right, to put it back, you just put it back in at an angle like that. Push it in. All right, once you get it in, drop it in. 
get it lined up with the screw hole properly, okay? And then just get the screw and put that back in. Okay, and that's how you replace the M.2 SSD. So you can upgrade this to a larger or faster SSD if you want. There's another speaker connector here. This one you also pop up. Wireless card is here. There's a, um, a PH0 or JAS0. The antennas you kind of pull up from the tails as well. If you want to see how to remove these, all my other, almost all my other videos show the removal process, but I don't want to mess with this. On this one, you can look for one that's like a complete disassembly. Um, then you got these connectors, same thing. You kind of just grab the edges and you kind of wiggle and pull them back. Um, this looks like for the touch screen and probably the webcam, I think these go. Um, actually, one might be for the fan. This one might be for the fan. Okay, and then this small one looks like for the touch screen and the camera. Um, then you got the LCD or LVDS connector. If you want to mess with this cable, make sure that you disconnect the battery. Um, I don't recommend just pulling the cable since there's not much room here. You'd have to actually take the screws out, lift the battery up, and then pull it back slightly while you pull the cable. Um, and then after you do that, uh, make sure open the screen 90 degrees, press and hold the power button for about 10 to 15 seconds to drain any power. Um, and then you can safely remove this cable. If you don't drain the power from it, then there's a good chance you can fry something by taking this uh, cable out. All right, then you got another little connector here. I'm not sure what this two pin connector, oh, there's another speaker there. And then you got this uh, cable here for the USB port and the headphone jack. Um, the fan looks like you can remove it just by taking out these screws. But um, that's pretty much all I'm gonna show in this laptop. So I'm gonna put this these screws back in. Okay. So I know it was just kind of a quick tutorial inside, but hopefully this video will help you guys anyways. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe. Help others find my videos. Um, again, if you need more detailed instructions on how to disconnect any of these things, please watch my other videos. I show a bit more detail how to disconnect things and I kind of like explain more. So yeah. But other than that, thank you for watching. I'm just going to put the cover back in. So the cover on the back has these little extended parts, so you actually have to put that in first. Make sure that these little clips that stick out back here clear this piece so that you can slide it underneath. And then you can snap this all back down. All right, and now we're just going to put the screws back in. So we're going to switch back to the... Oh, actually, let me... Tighten, make sure I tighten the battery things all the way because I use the pH zero and that one doesn't tighten as well. There we go. So make sure these screws are tightened using the pH one or JAS one screwdriver. Okay, so it did tighten a little bit more. There we go. Slide that underneath and then clip that down. All right, and now we're just going to put all the screws back in. Um, if you are upgrading or replacing the SSD, Make sure that you either clone the SSD first, I have a video on that if you need to know how to clone it, um, or you created a bootable Windows installer, and then you're going to do a clean Windows install. So depending what you wanted to do, if you're upgrading the hard drive, um, then you'll want to make sure to clone it first. Otherwise, you'll want to um, yeah, have a, a way to reinstall the operating system. Otherwise, your computer's not going to start up. It's just going to say, like, hard drive not detected or operating system not detected. Or it'll just stay on a blank on the HP screen. Okay, but that's pretty much all there is to this. Again, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, help others find my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Just going to put back all these screws. And let's see here. Last one. All right, that's it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.